What up, YouTube? It's your boy Ryder back with another one. We at ITS Terminal. I'm gonna teach you guys how to navigate properly when you're at these terminals. So make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button and uh, comment. Let me know what you guys think. Any terminals you guys want me to make any videos on, put it in the comment section. Let's get it. All right, guys, uh, I'm back. So uh, let me give you guys a quick breakdown. Uh, I'm terminating my empty, and as you can see, uh, my spot is D636. So how you do it is uh, when you're here at ITS, you have to find D6 first. So there's D6. Now from once we go up the lane in D6, we gotta find spot 38, and the crane to be right there waiting for us to take our empties. Let's get it. So as you guys can see on the floor, they have the numbers next to the container. So all you have to do is uh, go up D and uh, until we find 36 and uh, we'll be able to get our empty ticking off. So as you guys can see, this guy right here is getting his empty container taken off. Once the crane beeps, then that's when you stop and they grab the container then uh, once he beeps again, you're free to go. It's a real simple process. Uh, it's kind of scary at first if you're working the purse for the first time, you don't really get used to getting uh, your containers taken off or given to you. Uh, it is a process, but uh, after a while you get used to it. But yeah, it's that easy right there, like he just did. All right, guys, they just took my empty off. So now I'm gonna show you guys where the trouble window is if you ever get lost. So uh, most of the ports in Long Beach are pretty self-explanatory. Uh, all you have to do is remember to look for the letters and, and the letters and the numbers. So um, where we're at right now is the, the sixes. So then it goes sixes, sevens, eights, all the way up to uh, nines up here at Tri-Pack. And uh, sometimes your container might already be on wheels, so you don't need to get a chassis or anything. So uh, like then they have signs to the right of us where uh, it go you make a left and that's the exit. give you guys a quick rundown of the trouble window as well too so the way the trouble window was set up here the trouble window right when you come inside and you go through the pedestals the trouble window is right to the left so you so it's pretty easy to get there and uh, if you and if you need a map or you need anything help with a load or empty container you can go straight to the trouble window and they'll help you out so uh to the right of me is the threes and the left of me is the fours and uh, you can see as we drive down they have b3 then it goes down to the twos then that sign up there that says phase four means that's where the fours are at driving too slow for him. So usually when you get here, you just follow the signs and uh, whatever location you need to go to um, with the, the first number after the letter, they have the directions for the which way the phases are. And uh, the way we're going to is also the same way you go to exit. To the left of us, that's where you gotta go through for the exit. Then you check into the last pedestal 
you scan your ticket, then you're able to leave. Okay, so this little area right here is the trouble window area. And you see it's quite a few truckers here at the trouble window trying to get any issues that they have fixed. So when you come to the trouble window, all you gotta do, if you uh, got a chassis or a container, you, you park over here. And uh, we just passed where the bobtails parked at. So there's the actual trouble window when you guys go. You check in right there to get help. So if you guys ever get lost here, here's the here's the map. And usually most of the terminals have maps. Vending machines. And here's the restroom. Now we gotta go pick up our loaded container. Our loaded container is at C882. So let's go. So we're looking for phase eight. So we have to go this way. You just gotta follow the arrows when you're here. It's real easy. These are one of the easier ports to go to. Coming up to phase eight is right on the right side of us. So there is a B, and on the side of B is C. It's a line for a C. Yep, it's a line for C, so uh, we'll be waiting. So we just gotta get behind this truck driver. this guy until they uh, come get us. Uh, it's lunchtime right now. The ports usually go to lunch at 12 o'clock, but they sometimes leave like 30, 15 minutes earlier. So we'll wait for them to come back. Let's go. Okay, guys. So uh, I'm waiting for him to move so I can go to my spot.
Jair 86. Easy, I uh, got my loaded container. So now we gotta go through this exit and uh, we'll call it a day. All right, guys, look at all these truckers. Uh, everybody's trying to exit. So uh, the way we exit is the same way we came in. Uh, we gotta prep past the trouble window and uh, go through the little protocols and we'll be able to get up out of here. All right, guys, uh, when we exit, we gotta go through this little scanner, to scan the container, do what they do here. Then we gotta go to over here to the right of us and lock these chassis pins, and then we'll be good to go. All right, guys, we're about to exit. Just like that, man. In and out the ports of Long Beach, ITS terminal. That's just how you guys navigate. Look at all them truckers trying to come in and get some money, y'all. It's gonna get busy this summer for everybody. Uh, make sure you guys hit the like and subscribe button, share this video. Thanks for watching. Thank you.